He's such a ridiculous cacophony of smart asses. Literally, we were two seconds behind on the live button, and and we get shit about it. So greetings, everybody. <laughs> Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for being here for yet another, I don't know, blathering, incoherent uh, melange of shit. I, I don't even yeah. know what else to say. It's just, it's, it's, it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. But every show is the best show, right? And the next one will yeah. be the best one as well. So yeah, let's um, let's start off with the things that are are happening right now. And yes. I, I think we should absolutely start with the Alyssa Jordana thing because yum yum, getting crazier and crazier. It's just a. Uh, and the only place it didn't get talked about was the place that she worked. Mm. 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 Yeah, it's been a it's been big news in the, you know what, in a very small world because a it, lot of it was don't listen okay. to Howard Stern show and a lot of people don't know who Alyssa Jordan is even if they did know the Howard Stern show because she was such a very very peripheral peripheral human being on the show. If it wasn't for Benji, she probably wouldn't exist on the show. At all, correct. Dude, she was front page of Reddit. Front page. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not the Stern for subreddit, yes. not the Dabbleverse subreddit, not any other subreddit. It was literally front. Wow, it was like at number five at one point. Well, I mean, it was a live streaming assault. So you know, these are big news. Yes, but it yes. was a it was a bad assault though too. It wasn't just like a, you know smack somebody or you know punch your boyfriend in the arm kind of thing and you giggle no. and go away you know this was actual assault so as it turns out which you're seeing from the headline here from page six former howard stern show writer Alyssa jordan arrested after repeatedly hitting man in horrifying live stream breaking and the law breaking the law I think we could all agree yeah. that it was in fact a horrific live stream um it was really hard to watch after a moment I mean, not so much when she smacked him, but when he just kind of came after her and started yeah, just that's called karma, shredding her hair. Um, former Howard Stern show writer Alyssa Jordana, Howard Stern show writer Alyssa Jordana was arrested Monday after physically assaulting a man believed to be her boyfriend during a live stream. During the incident, which was shared on her YouTube channel Monday, she and fellow YouTube tuber Z Scoro were riding in a car which she started punching him while confronting him about his alleged cheating. A woman named Sarah, who allegedly received thousands of dollars from Scoro, which we heard was like two million, oh. then called into the live. Oh, wow. <laughs> the former Cobra Starship musician threatened to leak her nudes and her phone number online. Not cool. I mean, the doc That's not cool at all. Uh, it's such a stuttering John move, and it's not cool. At all, but okay, let's continue. Doesn't he look like high pitch Mike? He kind of does. He, he kind of does. does. I, it, it was bugging me all day yesterday. Like, who does he look like? The worst teeth. Uh, as as Z Scoro tried to speak directly to Sarah, Jordana punched him in the arm and shoulder. After he said, Sarah, I'm sorry about this, Jordana smacked him in the face with an open palm and said, Don't effing talk. She just like almost broke my nose, he said, adding a few sea monkey, uh, blah 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 blah. He then Warned the live streamer 35 that he <laughs> effing no laugh, yeah, no laugh, yeah. again. The man then grabbed her by the hair, yanked her before hitting her across the face. Pull over, dumb sea monkey, he said, uh, screamed and apologized. He also asked Sarah to call 911, but it's unclear if she did. Um, don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't break into law. Break After into the Sarah law. Yeah. Again, out of the car, she ran towards a vehicle that stopped to help her on the highway. Once he got in the driver's seat of the car, he abruptly ended the live stream titled Not Doing Good. Jordan was subsequently arrested on Monday by the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office on a battery charge for the incident oh. her an arrest record obtained by page six. Da, 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 da. It's unclear if her boyfriend was also arrested, according to her LinkedIn profile, in addition to being a comedy writer and real comedy. <laughs> Works as the host of a web series called Kermit and Friends. She also made appearances on Jimmy Kimmel Live, MTV, VH1, Sharknado, and Fox News. Sharknado? Sharknado? To comedian Andy Dick. Uh, yeah. You dick. So that's the story as it sits with page six. Um, what I've been reading on, on Reddit, you know, is always, of course, Howard might have to address this now, but he probably won't. Of course. Of course he won't. Um, so it's pretty much everywhere. Everybody's talking about who this dude is that, you know, he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, but he also is like, what is he? has Asperger's or something like this. 
And because he gave her so much money, she agreed to meet up with him in Florida. I had no idea she was uh, a Florida person. Now, it's, this happened in his backyard. So that's Palm Beach, Florida. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So then she invited him to, and, you know, I've seen her in cars with different guys. So maybe this is something that she does. I, you no, know, you mm-hmm. think so? Yeah. 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 Well, just, hey, just point it out there. Radio Gunk is currently looking for a pay pig. So <laughs> do you know anybody who's available to be our pay pig? Uh, my feet are available up, for shenanigans. Feet yes, all shenanigans. All shenanigans. So, yeah. So, this is what's going on with her right the now. The question is, yes. what is wrong with her? What is wrong, uh, what is wrong with her? She's literally getting cash, like like Brinks truck cash, and she gets jealous? I don't know. You <laughs> know, why, why, why would you screw that up? She's a, you know what? I don't no talk shit she's about married. But she's a pretty girl. Like she could yeah, have I, yeah, I, yeah. begged a guy who would take care of her for the rest of her her yeah. day, I think. You know? I think she Frank, maybe a Frank said bit he'll nuts. take care of us. Oh, Frank. Frank will do that for, for us. Frank. Awesome. We don't take Canadian money though. Exactly. No, Only no, actually we will, but we just discounted 80%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Frank, can you imagine? No. It's like you get you get you you know how you hooked up with the dude. You know, you know, it's like it's just strictly cash transactions, and you get jealous. There's a word for that. What is wrong with you? What, seriously. Well, again, we don't know what's true, but according to the well, word uh, on the street, this other chick dang, bro. had gotten like over two million dollars from this dude, and then she was upset that she hasn't gotten that much from him. So apparently, what this guy was doing, okay. he would at any given time while she was on her live stream like super chat her or whatever. I don't know what streaming service she's on, but like, you know, 5,000, 10,000. To give what? them our, uh, yeah, like crazy. URL. Wow. That's really great. Much more wow. than we make on this show and the website. Um, Bro, he-, dude. <laughs> he would give her, at we just- take care of our pay pigs. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, we won't hit you if you be our pay pig. We will be nice to you. Uh, uh, I don't know about Periscope uh, stop uh, existing like as of a few years ago. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> So this is what's going on with her. Um, will Howard address it? Probably yeah. the day after he tells us about Cabby's. Past. This is like Howard Stern in November story. No, these are things that he'll never get to. He doesn't he'll never yeah, talk about this. Yeah. Not, this is not something that's in his. He doesn't want to be associated with this kind of shit. Are he's you not, kidding me? No, so, he doesn't because he, he's Hollywood Howie like, now. Hollywood yeah, Howie doesn't like, like this. Yeah, apparently there's a couple of people that were like, um, "Oh, here, so this is this is what." Uh, here, let me add this. Let me add this back in here, as I'm reading this. This guy is Baram Alapur. His dad is a multi-billionaire. He is a pervert who finds female streamers with low followers and entices them with money to have poop sex. Okay. Gave Lisa a couple hundred grand, and the girl, the girl he cheated with, received two million, and a. Diarrhea bath. Oh. oh, lucky girl. Wow, she's a winner. <laughs> two mil, bro. Don't ask me what I'll do for two mil. <laughs> D- just don't. He has given Elisa a million dollars or more in the last year. I mean, we, again, we don't yeah, know. I take that with a grain of salt, but Ruth she's clearly court. getting something. Oh, here she is in court. According with her to- public defender. Law, she obviously didn't the save law. the money. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She she got like better call Saul for her. <laughs> yeah. Maybe no, that'd be a step up. Your GIF. Oh, my GIF. Look at my GIF, guys. <laughs> I like to party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. So yeah, don't know about the poop thing. Don't know. I don't even know who to ask about this because there's really no. Chakula would know. That's kind of close. To <laughs> that can give us an. Here, I want to poop on your head. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the Stern Show. Um, absolutely horrific today. I uh, I happen to have gone on to Twitter and somebody had written to me. Let me tell you who it was. Um, Dizzy Sleepy Beth. Uh, 
And this is from the commentary <laughs> from people today. Howard absolutely obsessed with weight, what he's eating, his length, for life, <laughs> shoes he's wearing, <laughs> bowel movements. Oh my God. That, that was brilliant, John Doe. Bad guitar playing, Beth, mom talk, fake calls, more bad guitar playing. Jesus, this has been one of the hardest shows to get through. I've got to get out of this. Left when he started his guitar recording. Pop back in now. Hear him tell Beth, oh, they want to hear from you. The audience likes Beth and Howard talking. So, yeah, this is this is how it's going right now. Uh, sure, yeah. sure. This is the day. Remember great. when you used to rip on Deidre or Deidre? Deirdre. Deirdre. So let's start. Hey, Mo, Mo yeah. do you know what the Chewbacca defense is by any chance? It's what a South Park thing. What is it's it? Like Johnny Crockett was defending a chef. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chewbacca. Chewbacca is a seven foot Wookiee who lives on, comes from planet Kesh. Now, what's he doing on a planet with three foot, a bunch of three foot Ewoks? It makes no sense. And then the dude's head blows off. I don't understand what you're saying, Xavier. Sorry, I John, love no, it. I, 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 I love the Chewbacca defense. The Chewbacca defense. The Chewbacca defense. I screwed it up, but you know, you get the gist. I know exactly. No, what no, I don't. No, you I don't? don't. No, I don't. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, the whole I, point of the case is that Chewbacca is seven foot tall and he's living on this planet with Ewoks that are three foot tall. Yeah, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's basically chef hired um, Johnny Cochran to come up with some bull crap that's going to confuse it. <laughs> okay. Jerry, that's all basically the, I cannot, I cannot. the short and long of it. I got I gotta, it. I, I apologize to everybody. <laughs> I am sorry. Um, now I know he's kidding and I know we have a bunch of clips about this and I know the guitar playing is just, I think, I think it's gotta be a big joke, right? It has no, to, no, it isn't. No, it, has to, joke. it has to be. Um, not, not to, not in his world. To it everybody else is a joke. Be. It has to be. The Chewbacca defense always worked in South Park. Law lawyers today refer to a ridiculous defense as a Chewbacca defense. <laughs> I've never heard that. And I need yeah, to look it up. Yeah, it's like early South Park. Yeah, it was one of the best, one of the best ones. You know I'm all over my South Park. Chewbacca defense. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. All right, so let's start the show. <laughs> let's see what's going on. I know he sounds serious, you guys, but I I, I don't know that it's horrible, right? I mean, he's no, no. know that it's like the emperor's new clothes at this point. Please no. tell me he's kidding. I, you know I, what? The I, I keep clearing. That's all he cares about. Uh, uh, like, legit. Of legit. course, I watch South Park. You guys, I just you know, you have to know something. I don't ever watch anything in repeat. Like I will watch it once and never. Like repeat. literally, like twenty years ago at this point, which is okay, really how, how can I remember that? How can oh. I remember? Oh, you're not a loser like me. That's right. There you go. See, wow. now, okay. correct. that is a correct. That is a correct. Guilty as charged. Can we start the show? Can we start let's the show? Start the show. Yeah, well, I guess. So we yeah, start talking about his guitar and his new album and all this stuff. And and I know you're going to be repulsed and kind of obsessed as I am with why he's continuing to do this to us and torture us. But because uh, he can. Yeah, I know. Here we go. We'll see what happens later in the show. I do want to say uh, thank you for contacting me. So many people. So many people. Excited That's about right. my solo album coming out. Sure, 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 sure. Really? Yeah. I'm putting who it on Who are album. these people? Well, a lot of our fans <laughs> who <laughs> want to know more about my music. I'm putting out an acoustic guitar uh, record. A solo No singing. Record. Yes. Solo yeah. record. You, you know, my Can't thought be. was I don't always want to work with a band. I like to do my own thing. It's just something I needed and to do. And you do want to display your proficiency at the guitar. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess there was a little pride in the guitar work. But I really pride. felt strongly pride. about it. Because I know a lot of people like just acoustic music. Pride. 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 So you, you realize that this is a victory lap for something that happened yesterday. And we're starting the show with a victory lap. Well, you know, plenty of people are asking him about it. Dennis saw Driving around in circles, baby, with his finger out. Woo! So what do we do after that? We just we we just dip into a song. And of course you know, we do. A special song just for Robin. And of course it's Rockin' Robin. No. I don't hear it from what he is uh plucking at here. But he's apparently doing 
Rockin' Robin. So let's hear a little bit of it because I'm sure all of you will think it sounds familiar to you at this point. Uh, and I wanted to, to debut it, if I may. I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Mm. Nobody's ever written um, a mm. well, serious song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's dead serious. Uh, this mm. is a song called Rockin' Robin. It's a classic. But mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. on it acoustically, okay. and uh, it's yeah. free. So I'd like to play it for you right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ow, that poor guitar. It's going to commit suicide this weekend. He's got to be going to jump into the pool. He's got to be kidding. He's got to be kidding. He, it's it's a joke. He's 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 doing what's it called in wrestling? A work? This is a work. There's no way. But the smoke they blow up his ass is shocking. Um, well, let's hear that or get a real job. Yeah, so, the smoke is real. So Robin, Robin comes out with this, of course, because you know, if there was a if the, if you were in a class with all the beginners full of the same skill level, yeah, you'd be top of the class. Sure, yeah. top of the class. Well, that's what someone told me. You someone know, someone told me <laughs> the guy <laughs> teaching me said, you know what? He goes, you learn really fast. He goes, I go really because you know when you're playing rock and robin, yeah, he goes, uh, it's a little depressing. <laughs> because you'd want to be Eddie Van Halen, but even Eddie Van Halen had to start with Rock and Robin. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Top in class. Seventy. At seventy years old. Seventy years old. Sure, sure. Eddie remember. Van Halen. Did he start off as a with a violin first? Because his dad, or no, his dad he, was yeah, a trumpet he, uh, player or something like that. It's a trumpet. And, and then he learned piano. Yes. And then, then he wanted to be a drummer. And then Alex took his took his uh we call it his sting away so he said f you i'm gonna pick up the guitar well don't forget that howard has taken guitar lessons multiple times over the course of the He's last he, longer than eddie van halen was actually alive yes azor says after two months i was playing guns and roses he can't even keep time he sucks yeah he did he is horrible what time was that in this is the thing though he thinks that he's artistic not oh, he's only. autistic. Absolutely. I guarantee he's autistic. <laughs> he, does think, he does believe himself to be an artist. He Oh, oh, I thought you are artistic. I think he's autistic. He wants to be like a, a rock and roll dude who can d sing, play, well, okay. call, do art, you know, just. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Let's just say tomorrow he wakes up and he's like, this century's Brian May or something. He's still a 70 year old geezer. Nobody cares. Yeah. You know? Nobody, he ain't buddy rich, bro. He ain't buddy rich, like still like slamming it at that age. The dude, I mean, he would have to be the most incredible guitar player ever for when by the sounds of it, care. by the sounds of it, when he wouldn't not, even care. It's incredible, <laughs> like it's unbelievably incredible. It's just a work. There's no way that is. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I wanted to throw in like another clip. Uh, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. So then he starts telling us about his uh, his wife's aunts who came to visit. So apparently, no, the no, you have to say it right. Aunts. They're aunts. It's not like I wasn't going to get to it, Dennis. I understand that, but it's just funnier to even introduce it with the auntie, you know. aunts, his aunts. aunts. And you know, growing up in Brooklyn, of course, anybody who came at you and said aunt is like. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> not a word that we use in the Northeast. It's just not. It's just not. Unless you're from like a Caribbean community or something. Yeah, exactly. Everybody is like an auntie. Hey, it's not. It's not something that um, we do. I mean, you might do it in the South. I don't know. Where do they no, do no, it? No, no. Even in the South, they don't. They don't say aunt. 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 <laughs> So, so yeah, so he starts to tell us about his, uh, his wife's aunties and he's trying to flip from talking about the aunties into doing, um, a rendition of his mother yet again. And he has some, uh, megaphone fuck ups. So let's listen to that. This is uh, full of ladies. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, Beth's, uh, two aunts, aunties. And, uh, you say I'm aunt, on. are you Southern? Aunt. Oh my God. I called my mother yesterday and I'm trying to make conversation. So I was, I, you know, I'm running out of shit to tell her cause it's the same thing over and over again. I tell her about the kids. I tell her, you know, and then she goes, uh, 
How's my hmm. see if I can get this working? How's my bath? How's that sound? How's my bath? It's not its usual. It's the, yeah, I know. I don't know what's uh, going on. Better muscle. Just, yeah. Wow. It seems I just uh, now it's dead. I can't. Four thousand dollars a minute. You no know, battery thing. Do you need new battery? Ah, if he actually <laughs> did like two minutes of work before the show, it would actually work. Uh, let's not get crazy, Dennis. I know. Uh, two minutes. That seemed to do. Nah, that didn't do the trick. Now there's that underlying static too. Check, check, check. How come everything else is clear but your voice? Let me let me do a little fix on this. <laughs> test test. Oh, I there did it. I fixed go. it. Motherfucker wow. <laughs> it would actually, you know how they tell you, don't bang on things because. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So. Jesus. So of course he goes into Ray. Come on, media. She's only ninety six and on her deathbed, you know, pumped yeah, up. Did you, wow. you, you, you pull the clip describing her? No, I did. Uh, no, right. I didn't. But I did pull the clip about uh, not going to the funeral, which I thought was. Like, yeah, well, the, the prelude before the funeral clip, he's like, you know, she's she's all morphined up and she just lays in the bed all day, except when and then and then she spends a long time in the bathroom. Right. And it's like, OK, and but sure, go ahead and tell us about these long drawn out conversations com you have with <laughs> and, and how she would sing to you a song that you knew from the 70s that yes. I heard myself, but she would sing all the words to it because she knew all the words to yes. it. Yes. I mean, this this fictitious mom that you now have Ow. is shocking. But mm. he, weirder right. is when he started talking about uh, Ben passing away and his funeral. And, you know, a simple thing such as, you know, Ray didn't go to Ben's funeral. And you know she's got to be, you know, completely fucking bedridden. And if A, she didn't go to funeral, and then B, she didn't go to her granddaughter's uh, wedding. wedding. Um, so, you know, she's in kind of dire straits. But the maniacal laughing that Robin does yeah. is kind of shocking. Like, I'm not even understanding how this is something that's even because sucking. that's her next week. That, you know, because literally I, uh, I, I actually commented that in the thread. I'm like, because it, it just <laughs> as you play the clip, it, it, it is really uncomfortable. Just, yeah. Just, just play it because it's so uncomfortable. Okay, got it. Uh, all right, here we go. He, I think I she's understand. like forgotten. Seventy five yeah, years of okay. marriage. By the way, Robin was like echoing the entire day. I don't know how yeah. many of you listen to the Sirius uh, app on uh, headphones, but she was she was reverberating. And on, on the app, she was, but on on the regular, she wasn't, which oh, is really, really weird. She that's wasn't. Weird. And if I through the satellite, she wasn't echoing. Oh, that's weird. I or well, their technology is garbage. So there's that. Oh, she well, just did a rebrand, didn't they? You can you can. All the TikTokers that said she sounded wonderful. TikTokers oh. like that echo. Yes, they do. More <laughs> reverb. More reverb. Make it More wet. reverb. All right, just get what? Uh, um, Seventy-five wait. years of marriage, and I'm telling you, she I don't think she remember remembers him. him. No, I told you. She didn't oh, even go God. to his funeral. I had to go. I'm like, you married him. You go. Wow. Why do I have to go to the funeral? Did you did your father have a nice funeral? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It was me and my sister go, standing. No. Go to the no, no. <laughs> it's too much for me. Hysterical. Hysterical. Wow, that is that's just that's yeah. just knee slapper stuff right there. <sighs> Jesus. I, I mean I I mean it was it was almost like it was the greatest joke ever, and it was just about an old woman that is Basically, you know, minutes away from being well passed on, yeah. And and, and Robin's just cackling away, and, and I mean, and and hard cackle. what hard cackle? Like oh, hard well, cackle, and it no kept on ramping up, bro. Come on, no, there is no self zero self awareness. Oh no, absolutely. She didn't care when her mother passed away or her father passed she away. Didn't care less. No, no, he was asking for the for Ben's eye. That's I think She's that's the only thing she cared about. She really, is a sociopath. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so then we get an appearance by our lovely Beavis, and uh, <laughs> I don't even know why she came downstairs, but she needed to tell us this incredibly detailed She's an uh, attention whore. story mm -hmm. about uh, 
the the rabbit. All right, here we go. Your aunts. Oh. And <laughs> ants, I don't know. Yeah. I'm having a poop problem with Sunny Bunny. Oh yeah, one of our rabbits. Whoa. She sleeps uh -huh. and poops. They poop 300 what? times a day. Yeah. And she sleeps wow. all night and the poop just collects and it becomes one big poop. The tiny poop becomes one and it gets stuck and I have to uh, it's pull horrible. it out of her ass. Look at my fingernails. Oh, did you just oh. do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a worthless life like, oh my god the fact shit, is that you have free range rabbits right oh dude like, has a rabbit wasn't like listen not give more hate him wasn't jimmy carter building homes for homeless people until he was like 90 yes this bitch is talking about rabbit poop rabbit poop yes like worthless Hard life, there. life man I, you know, I love the fact that we do this all the time, and it is really the truth. They are two of the most intellectually incurious human beings that walk the planet. They are, seriously, they are like two steps above the Kardashians in their intellectual um, curiosity. I mean, the fact that they're going to Italy, and I'm sure Jimmy wants to take him to like all these museums and show him like fine art and, you know, uh, have him go out for like these amazing dinners and maybe try like, Oh, I don't know. Some like Fogwa or some, you know. Fogwa is French. They don't serve that in Italy. Matiziana. I'm just saying foreign foods that he doesn't eat. Stupid. Stupid. And, <laughs> and it's it's just gonna be it's just gonna fall horribly short. Horribly. I hope they serve beef as Coniglio. That'd be wonderful. Good rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Or Kavala. Oh, you know Oops. She care. She she care less. Gabuzel. She probably <laughs> rip that rabbit's head off and drink it. Uh, if she uh, such an idiot. Okay. So. Uh, okay. So now I'm just catching a little something from this clip. So the, the, the ants came yesterday and they were staying overnight. One of them was leaving, I guess, tomorrow or something. And um, they were talking about this spread that they have out and how they, you know, there's too much food because they sleep late. So, you know, Beth just put out a spread of uh, bagels and muffins and all sorts of foods for them. But the fact that they're then going to eat uh, lunch at 1130. 11. No, 11. Means no, 11. They have to clean up all the breakfast stuff, you know, and then put out the lunch spread. So. He was talking about dessert. And I know this sounds stupid, but it really bugged the shit out of me. So I'll talk stupid. to you on the other side. So here we go. Stupid. You have stupid. Dinner stupid. with yeah. Beth's uh, aunt. Aunt. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then and then the dessert came out. We had some like a like cake kind of thing with Dessert came out. Dessert came out means hired help is bringing something oh, to absolutely. you. Absolutely. Oh, hired help is doing everything. We know That's that. Right. Dessert, Hola, rapido, rapido. Dessert came out, right? Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, somebody is serving you this food. He's a You're tortured not man. Doing dick. Dessert came out. Dessert came out. Dessert came out. I just uh, drove me. It was like a date custard thing. Date custard. Yeah, and we we oh because you cooked that, didn't you, Beth? You made that date custard. Didn't you? It's a date custard. Engagement chicken. Yeah. It's called ice cream. It's not. We have real ice oh, right, cream and ice cream, which I insist on because it's, it's low. There's no sugar in it. It's um right. It was sugar. from uh, Jessica Seinfeld's cookbook. It's uh it's called ice cream, and it's like a vegan ice cream where you should I say what it has to be from a almond milk. Milk. Um, bananas and peanut right. Butter. I was gonna say the peanut sugar's butter. gotta come from somewhere, it's the, the bananas, butter. yeah. But you know what I mean? It's low sugar and low fun, but I enjoy it. And it's uh, so good, oh, everything please. It is, bananas it's make great ice cream. Oh. That's what I used to make for the kids. What kids, <sighs> yeah? What kids, what kids, who, what kids is Robin making banana ice cream for? I I'm trying to figure this one out. Because it, it, she never had any children. What kid? Her nephew? Her nephew? Come on, no. Running around making banana ice cream? Vice cream. It's vice yeah, cream. I got nothing. Vice I, I think, I'm assuming she's looking in the mirror and thinking it's another person. It's so funny. Was that, wait, was that when they couldn't get the friendlies? You know, they're so, yeah. into, they're so into being like, oh, save the animals and all this bullshit. But meanwhile... Do they even know that almonds are the Am biggest I... perpetrator of like water wastage oh, in our? They're, they're, 
disaster for the environment. Oh, my God, disaster. Almonds are a disaster, disaster for the environment. Thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. And and um, the more popular almond milk gets, the more farmers are turning their crops yeah. up almonds, and they take like 50 times the amount it's of like, of other when crops. It, when but it comes to environmental disasters, it's it's the elephant foot from Chernobyl, and then there's almonds. And then like, <laughs> that's the exact well, the thing is where, where they naturally grow, not California, it's not, not California. a problem because in Sicily they grow naturally and it's yeah. not a problem. Not right. here. Different story, but we it's a different story. Here. Down here, are you boy? What is wrong with you? We need our <laughs> almond milk. Yes, oat milk is better because oat is a ah, much I like moo moo milk. Oh, I don't drink milk at all, but if you had to, I don't, none of it, none of it is good. I mean, they don't care, dude. They're we, building mansions on birds' nests and stuff. That's true, care. and in turtle and turtle nest. Then but, does, you know she saved the worm. Yeah, I, 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 I made the worm. And he was safe now. <laughs> so he's leaving. Their carbon footprint, bro. Is it's like the footprint? It's, it's, it's like it's a, like bigger it's like than Nick, Nicaragua. <laughs> and you only have to say three words: cat from Oman. I mean, cat from Oman. Cat from Oman. There you go. Cat from Oman. There you go. It's, it's like a carbon foundation. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's enormous. So, um, it's so, okay. So then she's leaving. And, you know, again, with a false, true love, shocking, you know, platitudes that they give each other. It's really kind of pathetic. Oh, so Hang on, sorry. Oh, I will. You think? See you later. All right. All right, my love. My sweetheart. I love no. you. Mm. Hard to say goodbye. I know. You just got to rip yourself away. That's how Robin does it every day. <laughs> how do you think she feels? Hard to say goodbye. Hard to say goodbye. They're literally in the same house. They're feet Hard away from each other. Goodbye. It's already like 8.30. He's going to be done in two hours. But yeah, sure. Let's go with hard to say goodbye. Oh, my God. Well, wait a minute. It, she, it can lose him in that 18,000 square foot house, though. Hard to say goodbye. Hey, yeah, you, think you, hey Mo, do you think when like the relatives leave, do you think she has Consuela go through their suitcase, make sure there's no extra robes in there and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Apparently her mother takes all the leftovers home, so there's not even like leftovers in the like, house. You know, there's like a, there's a Tiffany lamp in their suitcase, a couple <laughs> robes. <laughs> silver. All the silverware. It's exactly. all the silverware. There's, there's like ashtrays. <laughs> 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 To be fair, Howard is probably in the, he's in the seventies. I bet his, her aunts are in the seventies too. They're yeah, peers. are the same. Yeah. I'm sure they are his it's age. Not younger group. than him, for sure. His age group, for sure. Um, yeah. All right. So then he had an interesting story. This is a two minute clip, so we're gonna have to break it up a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with I believe that he did do this, and I, and I know that every single one of you is gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm telling you that I believe it to be true. Um, I think he tries when he's down in Palm Beach to be like everybody else that's down there. And so they are so goddamn wealthy that the very idea of doing something like stars, they're just like us. The very idea of them driving their own cars is a flex because look at me, I have I have so uh, much fucking money. No, I actually I oh, actually dude, believe it's this. the clamp. It's my friend. <laughs> I do I do believe he did this. Did Smith did. Pond. Yeah. So here he is talking about uh, them going off to dinner the other night, and I was just amazed at the fact that he was actually driving. So here we go. Need to go out for dinner. <laughs> Where's Beth? I should have brought this up when she was here, but what the hell? I don't want to bug her. <laughs> um, Doing what? Beth, I guess, was getting stir crazy because if it's up to me, we'll never leave the house. She right, goes, wouldn't sir. it be nice if, yeah, wouldn't it be nice if we went out to dinner? I like to get dressed up. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah sure. No problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a lot of food. There's a lot of leftovers in the fridge. And I, I was like looking forward to that, but fine. Plus, at this point, I don't like to go to restaurants because they put so much salt in the food. And what? You know, I'm worried about my ankles blowing up. What? <laughs> no, that happens to be true. You know, after COVID, because I was cooking so much at home, I mean, like almost to a, a shocking degree, when I first started to go out to dinner again, the salt content assaulted me. Like, I mean, it was really almost disgusting. I'm used to it now, but it is. It's It was bad. There's so know. much MSG and salt in food when you go well, out. It depends where you're going. No, there is so much salt in food, period. Full stop. 
It's what just, I like that is ankles swell up. I mean, that's swell up because you know, yeah, like an old yeah, broad. Sure, sure. This is great. All right, let's continue. The dude is a veal. Have we said <laughs> yeah. that already? He is a veal. Let's continue. It's not a good look. <laughs> Honestly, it's really kind of depressing. So uh, I said, "Yeah, of course," because I got to be a good husband, and you know, I got to do stuff yes. for her. She like she gets a charge out of seeing people, and you know. She going out to dinner and she mm-hmm. can't leave why being out in the world <laughs> yeah just being out in the world she enjoys it go figure it i don't know it, it can't go by it. itself I i'm attracted to someone who <laughs> enjoys that but i am I mean, the story. anyway um so we're going and i i thought i dressed myself pretty reasonably i have these nice jeans and um i had like a shirt that beth bought me yeah. I guess the country club is out of the story, the situation now. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the country club's She's, happening. I, I see her on Instagram like every other week uh, buying single cigarettes from people while she's <laughs> trading cats. I mean, what the hell? What's she he talking about? What the hell is he talking about? Venezuela serve them dinner. Like this is what she does. She she wears a thousand dollar dresses so that Consuela can serve them dinner at four thirty. Oh, Miss Beth, you uh, look cool. really lovely tonight. Or life or- I mean, a few outfits. So uh, we're going, I get in the car, all set to drive over to the restaurant, which isn't too far from the house. And I'm pulling out of the driveway. And uh, she goes, what shoes are you wearing? Those are your sneakers that I bought you. Those are new sneakers. I go, yeah, don't they look great? They're black sneakers. And she goes, you can't. She goes, I'm all dialed up and you're wearing your sneakers. You can't. Dude, everybody wears sneakers. It's, it's yes. okay. It's okay to wear sneakers, Beth. It's okay. I mean, but you remember this is a fashionista that dresses inappropriately. That's uh, that's really that. Those words really shouldn't be coming out of your mouth, Dennis. But no, no. But also it dresses inappropriately. A shockingly horrific dresser. <laughs> the really. worst dresser ever. I mean, we all saw the pictures from yesterday. We Oof. all know exactly what's going on in in that bizarro world that she inhabits. Black hole sun. Clearly, all by her. <laughs> and um. Yeah, I mean, if you really needed to know what she looked like, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping this isn't what she was wearing when she was getting off. I think so. Up. I think this is all dolled Has up. To be. Look at that. <laughs> Ellie Mae. I love the pigtails. That is just. I'm so a resident bond with my. Shit. <laughs> this look. Could you dress more like a hooker? Could you please? Could you Not please? Even, no, it's bizarre. <laughs> baby girl. I don't even know. DDLG, what? baby. DDLG. So- are you saying that the Dexys Midnight Runners look isn't in? This no, year? I'm gonna go with uh, Jesus. Pirate, it looks like a pirate hooker. <laughs> <laughs> well, she needs to look at some more bracelets, you know, That's an eye I'm patch, doing. and she's good to go. <laughs> the pirate hooker. Fire. That's great. All right, so yeah, so let's move on. <sighs> Lots of weird callers calling. Hey, be squirrels up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of weird callers were calling in, and of course the of course the trucker. Mm. The trucker. It's always the trucker. Mm. Of course it is. It's long always- haul trucker. Long haul. Yeah. Long haul trucker. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, and had two very important questions that needed to be answered by Howard, which is the reason. That they uh, picked up on. No, it wasn't Large Marge, David. It wasn't Large Marge. No, that was a different call. It was Large <laughs> yeah. Marge. No, this is a guy. So here we go. So here's the here's his first. Question. To Ray, indeed, Jeremy. Here's his first question. Yeah. Go ahead, James. Hey man, I was wondering, would you have your mother call on? And and Beth kind of kind of answered the question with her not getting up till ten o'clock. You think you could convince her to come on just for, you know, just ask some random questions. What trucker? That sounds like a voice we heard from one of those tradio prank calls. Yeah, it's like somebody no in the back office acting like a trucker. Yep, yep. Well, it's funny because at the beginning of the clip, which I didn't, I which I cut off, um, Robin was talking, and and Howard's like, "No, let him finish what it is he has to say," as if he ever cares what anybody has to say. Yeah, I know. Mm. Gonna like dig into what he wants to talk about. Hold on, and then there's the next one, which is probably marginally stupider, if not the stupidest question that was asked during the day. Here we go. Yeah, speaking of that, is 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 Doug still work, or is she retired? Who? What? Who? Beth? No, Doug, her brother. 
Oh, brother, no, he works. He's a young guy. Yeah. He's uh, in his what is he? He's in his forties. Yeah, I'll just say it would be fun to have a mic in his house. Chris Wilde? Yeah. And, then, and now that you'd have a real sports expert versus you know the guys in the back, he should have a mic. That's Chris Wilding. That is Chris Wilding. He should he have also, a mic. He, he does McConnell, and it's the same voice. <laughs> he should have a mic. It's definitely one of the radio voices. That, he have a mic at Doug's house because then they'd have a real perspective, a real like, sports man oh, on there. Because there's no such thing as sports radio where people could actually listen to real sports. No, like me, like the thing like bar stool sports, you know, the multi billion right. dollar thing. Yeah, it's like right, and not listen to Dragul try to talk about sports that he knows nothing of. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, why not? So he, he, he just by coincidence has the only trucker that likes uh, cowboys are frequently. F- Secretly fond of each other, son. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, I what like, a coinky dink. I like Orville Peck. I'm just gonna say that I do like him. Uh, you would. I I do. I think he's kind of. I think his voice is uh-huh. uh, sexy. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. Sure, 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 sure. All right. So <clears throat> Howard then needs to tell us about the reason that he doesn't like eclipses, because of course there has to be a reason behind it, which makes no sense uh, whatsoever. And Ah, just it's so weird. He's such a weirdo. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm so eye phobic. I told you my dad had a glass eye, and I've always been like uptight about eyes. And then Mm -hmm. even my psychiatrist said, Men, he has a glass eye, he's always been uptight about eyes, but he didn't even know about the glass eye until much, much later in life. But okay, yes, 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 yes. yes, Let's go on with your, your, your men specifically have phobias about their eyes and their penis, like, there's tremendous. You have that. About. I didn't know eyes. I didn't either. Yeah. And I know eyes, the penis. Yeah. You guys are all crazy about your penis. Yeah. And uh, like, like you know, kind of just it's neurotic how, you know, worried we are. Get it? Again, he stutters and sputters through something when he has nothing. There's no there's no cognitive thought that goes with this sentence that he's saying. So he's just like stumbling through it because it makes no sense whatsoever. I'm just going to back it up just as time. Yeah. And uh, like, like, you know, kind of just, it's neurotic how, you know, worried we are. Get it? But okay. Wow. So with eyes, Oof. I don't even think I would look up. I don't even want to risk getting blisters on my eyes and risk losing, losing my bit. It's just not <clears throat> worth it. And like, if I was Chris and the, an Uber delivered those glasses to me and it said, we are not responsible <laughs> for anything that happens, I'd be like, you know, fuck <laughs> this. And then there- Okay, so they went into this whole conversation about how Chris Wilding had Uber Eats deliver a pair of Eclipse sunglasses to his house so that he could watch the Eclipse. It was to the office. I think it was to the office. He was in the office yesterday. Kicking into Denny's. Thank you, Sue. (laughs) All right. Thank you, Sue. (laughs) Chin, chin. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> Thank you, Sue Monster. Um, yeah, so just some bullshit about eye phobias. It made no sense whatsoever. What, uh, what doesn't he have a phobia over? I mean, come on. Um, come on. That guy's afraid of everything. Uh, I, well, no, not counts, not counts on top of uh, kitchen counters. He doesn't have a phobia dude, about he, that. Watch, watch. One year from now, he's, the story will be... And then you know I had to go get a police, and they drove me around to try to identify the eclipse, and uh, it's, it'll just morph into something ridiculous. It's insanity, honestly. The it's dude ridiculous. is just like, wow. Yeah, he's afraid of life. Yes, he's a veal. Yes, he's a veal. Yeah. Yeah. So swinging back to some more guitar talk, and I'm just oh, gonna- oh wait. Or- so this is the is this the victory lap for the earlier thing in the day? They victory oh. lap in the own sh- in their own show. They victory lap. No, oh, this is even better. This is Fred blowing smoke up Howard's ass oh, yeah. about his brilliant guitar play. Yes, yeah, so it's it's a victory lap for the play that they did earlier in the show. <laughs> they don't even wait till the next day. <laughs> Very nice, and uh, that was that. Yeah, they weren't too moved by it, and that's it. I didn't order from anybody. I didn't buy. Hey, anything. I didn't ask you. What did you think of my new track, uh, Rock and oh. Robin? I like Not that. Bad, huh? You know, I one like song it. I really like a lot, and it's getting overlooked a lot, is uh, with The Drunken Sailor. The, oh, drunk, the Drunken Sailor so, song. Because you play that so well. It's like you actually... Yeah. That one? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's like... Wow. Time. 
You played yeah. so in time. I thought maybe you were working with a metronome. Is everybody is 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 everybody is everybody a side participant in the freak show that is the Emperor's New Clothing? Yes. Is this man? Yes. Like serious? I, I think uh, I think uh, Eric. Uh, daughter's tuition is up or something like that. Well, remember, gotta... Eric's daughter went to England. You know, that's nothing Eric... cheap when they start traveling. Yeah, exactly. Like that. You know, Better and start and... lathering up that Howard. And his wife probably bought another house because you know it's He's been a couple money. months. Yes, Absolutely, money. you're right. They probably bought another house. He's got the money. What? What do we all think? Eric... Makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. Come on. Yeah, but... but the thing is that 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 yeah. listener he married likes to spend it. He got it though. He had one child. Okay. Again, this is like everybody thinking that Robin has no money. She, she's she's childless. She has nothing yes, but, but her money. He gets taken in by by everybody. gurus who milk her for millions. By it's shaman. okay. Dr. By Ronnie, shaman. baby. Dr. Ronnie with green drink. By shaman. Okay. Shaman. Oh, so, here's some eclipse victory lap. That's what I named my next one. Oh god, I don't know what this is because I oh I guess people were calling in pro Howard saying people should stay at work and not God forbid take the all of the three minutes it took exactly to look up and and look at the eclipse. Anyone staring up into space to watch the moon pass by the sun is too easily amused. I know easily. people, are especially if you're wow. going someplace to go see something that's going to take five minutes. You're spending days and hours and money. And this time. guy, man, this guy. Anyone I'm standing good. outside, Howard, anyone standing outside with those dopey 3D glasses staring at the sky 3D. to be trampled upon by John Hine. <laughs> Three, 3D glasses. <laughs> Wee, it's real. It's like 3D. Look, it's 3D. This is a guy that spent a week on Metamusal, oh, man. Yes. yes. Like, like everybody else is easily amused. A lot of people yes. commented that it was good to hear from High Register Sean. No, nobody commented on how it was good to hear from High Register Sean. Nobody. nobody. That's so a victory lap for somebody nobody wanted. <laughs> I love it. The guy that's literally is a 70 year old man doing knock knock jokes. Fred yes. complimenting guitars like Corky from Life Goes On complimenting your guitar. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that Corky, wasn't he? Didn't he burn down the house every other week? Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. The show, the show should have been called Life Goes Wrong. I couldn't I couldn't watch a show with somebody mentally challenged like that. I just wasn't really. I couldn't. It was, he was too pretty much good, a man. I wasn't really. I wasn't. I'm not. He, was. he, he, he laid down the wood. <laughs> he laid down the wood. He had, uh, wasn't that uh, Rob Lowe's brother had AIDS and stuff like that? Uh, sure. You know what? Yeah. You I know, know too much about I. that show. Yeah, you know too much. Ola di, ola da. Right. Yeah, I, I know nothing of this. I know none of this. He literally burned down the house every other week. I know Jerry more than I know Corky. Jerry. Jerry Facts of Life. Oh, that Jerry. Remember Jerry? Jerry from Facts of Life. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, she was. She was. She yeah, was I don't know. Facts of Life was. I just, just know Jerry Judy and Gina, me and out, Gina girl. That's all like, I know. <laughs> Judy was like, oh, all those, all those broads were a little challenging to look at. Even yeah. Joe, which was the hotter one, was a Blair. Know. Oh, she what about like Blair? Was the, well, Joe was the hot tomboy. Joe, oh, yeah, Joe Blair, was, uh, Blair. Joe Blair was, was the hot girl. Yeah, Blair was the hot girl. Yeah, but yeah, Blair kind of blew up too, didn't she? Yeah, yeah like by the fifth season, they were all kind of like you know. How oh, heck is he sleepy? Beth, I commented on your um your post to me earlier today about how many people said what a shit show it was today. Um, oh, wasn't yeah. George Clooney on that show too? Wasn't he like yes. the janitor? Yes, yes, yes. 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 All right, here's something I needed you guys to hear. And yes. remember, we're talking about a 70-year-old man with his 50, 51-year-old wife, right? So, yes. yes. Okay, just listen to this comment just real quick. Yeah, he just hung up, unfortunately. Yeah. I have probably got a call. <laughs> people have done, I used to be ashamed of buying condoms, but people, they don't care anymore. I buy, well, I buy them online you're... now. You still buying condoms? Yes, yes, um, that's sure. because um, he, well, um, he, he doesn't so, want the 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 pool guy to get anything. That's all. Yeah, you know because uh, herpes. No, uh, so, no, come on, come on. Why? <clears throat> herpes. <laughs> well, he's a bold faced liar too. Let's not take that out of the equation. I know everybody was dying for me to do this, so here we go. <laughs> uh, uh, 
because we needed to know. All right, here Oof. we go. Ooh. Oh, dear Lord. What happened to the crew of the Facts of Life? Where are they now? Now, I don't see that they included Jerry here, interestingly enough. And Weird. Of course, was it Leon, Leo part of that cast, too? Or was he a different show? No, 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 no. Le Wrong Leonardo show. DiCaprio was in... Um, he was in a different show? Yeah. Growing Pains, right? Growing, is growing is pain? it, it? Wait, she's still alive? Oh, are wow. Are you serious? Damn, hey. Hey, you know what? She's not that bad. Oh, no, oh, no, she died. Yeah. Okay. He died in 2008 at the age of oh, boo. Okay. You know, it's so funny because even back then, she to me, she looked 92. Yeah, she looked really old. She looked, yeah, then. yeah. Always looked old. She looks better, actually. Older, quite frankly. Yeah. All right, here's Tootie. Tootie's Ooh. looking a little um, girl power LGBTQ-ish. Yeah. You know what? No, no offense, but she would have been safe on the on the set of Nickelodeon shows. <laughs> Will is an actress and a producer who starred in many popular shows at the time, including Mark and Mindy. Blah 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 blah. Uh, producer <laughs> also doubled in reality television, joining the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta for the show's eighth season. And oh, really? Oh, okay. yeah, there you go. There you go. We teamed up with former Facts Live co-stars for a, a holiday movie. Blah blah blah. Okay, so I guess she's still acting. Good for her. Blair? Looks like she oh, slowed down again. Sure. Not too bad. No, she looks pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> old version of the same cute girl. So, yeah. yeah so, not so bad. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Acting since then, becoming a best-selling but controversial author. Uh -oh. Good for her. She also s appeared on Survivor Philippines. Oh. In 12. Survival Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the challenge? Just eating the local cuisine? Exactly. Uh, Maybe I, that's what lo she lost all the weight. <laughs> yo. You eat now. You eat you eat more. Boy. Um no, she's looking okay. No, Listen, they know recognizable. They're all my mate. They all look good. Um, let's see. After the series ended, she continued acting. Um, auditioned to play Monica on Friends. Interesting. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. Mindy. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, she didn't change. Shockingly, looks exactly, exactly the same. <laughs> it's like if John Holy. Kenny were alive today. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, she looks exactly the same. That's, that's, kind of, that's not a good positive. Wow, that, yeah, that's not a good thing. Wow, huh? Let's see. She worked as a at least actor, like a do. Oh, oh. She's Velma on Scooby Doo from 2002 to 2015. Oh, okay. oh that ruins it for me. Uh, I okay, thought Velma had you know potential. Oh, that's right, Molly Ringwald. I forgot all about her being in that what show. She, oh, she was I hot. She didn't look anything like that, but no. I, like, I, I wouldn't. If you showed me that picture, I wouldn't know that. I was wouldn't me. know that was her, but I, I remember Breakfast Club. She's she's cute. She's. Cute. I, I remember seeing her. Um, I was in London. A while back, and she was on some Broadway type of thing. It's like, oh, Molly Ringwald, West End, West End Saver. Let's go to the West End over there. I, I don't know, dude. Have you ever tried walking around London? Everything's yeah. all crooked. I don't know where I was. <laughs> it was like nothing's built on a grid there, man. Yeah, they literally just literally just slapped a it's mule and let him like, draw here. the lines. Cloris Leachman. Mm. She died in twenty one at the age of ninety four. Uh, Mackenzie Aston. Uh, I don't know who that is. Son of Pat. Is, but, ooh. Uh, that's ooh. Uh, George Clooney. We all know what happened to him. Yeah. And yeah, there you go. How is Clooney so rich? Like he's been in like a, like two movies that I know of. Didn't he have uh, piece of the action on those movies no, though? I don't Did know, dude. But you was like in that Batman movie that was horrible. A big producer. He's just. Yeah. No, so, he, is he okay? okay yes, I guess. yes, 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 yes. Remember, he he's remember he is a nepo baby. So there's is that. Really? I honestly did not know. Rosemary Clooney is his aunt. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so a little bit of help going on there. I really help him because you know the truth is, I mean, he'll tell you he'll tell you though that he he worked delivering like pizza and ice cream until he was like well into his like late twenties. I mean, his big his big takeoff was this, but it was late. It wasn't like, you know, come on. Honestly, in the Nepo hierarchy of things, not so much. They, they gave him tough love. But, I mean, once he got there, you know, things got easy. He stayed. He stayed. Hey, Hooper, technically I was in Charing Cross, not London. Oh, Charing Cross. Okay. Put so that in your pipe. Let's talk about Sam's placenta, shall we? 
Oh, Jesus. Uh, why is this brought even be brought up? Who the hell is she? The show took a horrible turn. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This, was, this got the only good thing about this is that Sal actually was funny because it wasn't Stepford Sal. Sal was it Sal. It was regular Sal, and yeah. it got it got ugly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care what you guys say because, honestly, the fact that she would even, A, bring this up, B, talk about it, C, it become a a running uh, commentary on the show for a solid 45 minutes, that means you need to know. Okay? So if you need I to know to about to, her eating her innards. You have to listen to it. That's all I got to say. Okay. Oh God, so, so she's talking about how this is what she's going to do. And, and I did a little deep dive on it. So we'll talk about it at the back end of this. Book. By the way, Sam told me she is going to eat her own placenta. And yes. I have never seen placenta, but it looks <clears> like you ever see a, like a dead stingray in the ocean. Like when they wash up on the shore, oh, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. A, gray? all gray and wide like that. And wow. It's, yeah, I, I I was thinking about this. Well, why are you going to eat your own placenta? Because of the nutrients? So pregnancy is a hot state. Your body, as I just explained to Sal, didn't know anything about it. You have, you know, this huge hormone shift. You're all big. You're big, Sal. Oh, right, and then when you have... <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I like you're... how she says pregnancy's a hot state. Uh, There's nothing hot about it. Oh my that. god. <laughs> You're such a fucking asshole, dude. You're oh my god. god. He went on like this. I mean, it was really funny. That was actually funny. <laughs> Well, this is basically what placenta looked like. Now, I have oh. to be honest, since I am a childless, barren woman myself, I had no idea what placenta actually looked like. It's, it's going to be a line. It's a lining, and it's going to have all the blood vessels and oh. Uh, and so it looks like an it looks like an illy cooked uh, brisket. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it almost looks like uh, British boiled meats. Yeah. It's disgusting. So what they do with it? Is uh, like a, a doula or something. Abadula, Abelgada, what? Take the placenta oh. and you will put it in a freezer oh. bag and <laughs> it home and they will dry it. And then after they dry it, they grind it. So they oh. grind it up. The steak's going to come back up. <laughs> they grind it up. Ugh, they grind it up. For dinner. This is tough. Okay, okay, okay we'll go here. Uh, um, oh, God. Grind it up. Oh, and God, and Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm gonna throw! Oh, oh God, I can't look. I can't. I'm gonna get. Oh, go oh my God! Please stop! For the love of God, please stop! Please, please, for God, stop! I felt, I, I felt that stick coming up. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, that was horrible. I got up at the vomit. You know, it looks like like Larry Mandel's bed. <laughs> I'm dying. Someone call 911. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> if you oh. want that free home run hamburger, I'm going to be really upset with you. I had such a beautiful I steak. Something. I had a nice strip steak for dinner, and it, oh. it, it literally is at the top of my throat right now. Oh, I just said salad. I'm good. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that is funny. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut that screen so that you never have to see it, it again. It looked like oh. that thing was about to open up and a face hugger was going to jump on your face. <laughs> Oh. I stole that from Larry Mandela. Oh. Ah, I can't get this. This guy at work just looked over my shoulder. <laughs> That's what I'm watching. Oh, oh, so funny. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, like and subscribe up. David, thank you, David. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest point of my life. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, so oh I, my God. Was curious, I was curious about the placenta thing, and they basically say it's not not so much. It's not really something you should be doing. No, it's a, it's a it's something. It's a waste product. It's an organ. It's a waste organ. It's, it's a waste product. An organ. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
Man, it, that's like up there, like trying to eat the peanuts out of your shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are we? What are we, what are we doing? Are we become? <laughs> oh, Jesus well, like Christ. The best thing about her eating the placenta, honestly, oh. is the fact that this is her third child. So this is like, oh, you know. Oh, my God. She for some that, 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 that thing's like hot glued in there. It's not even like really attached. <laughs> that kid's gonna walk out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly right. He's That's... gonna have a suitcase. He's gonna have a fedora. He's gonna walk out. Mother, <laughs> pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh, God. I don't feel good. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you sorry. had to. You, you just had to. Oh my God. <laughs> you you just had to. There's not enough super chats to make. No, it for you're this right. Time. That is cannibalism. You are exactly right. You are. You are. You are eating, yeah, eating your own self. Yeah. That is. Um, or yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Can we have the? Can we get the pay pig guy to throw us a ten thousand dollars super chat? For yeah, we need. We need the Come pay pig on. guy now. We suffer enough. Yeah, and I'll I'll pop a placenta pill if you want me to. Please, I'll do it. I'll do it. Placenta pill. I'll do it. I'll do it. You do it. That conversation went on for a little while. I'm sorry we digressed for just a just a a moment. But here's Robin telling us about you know how how how, you know she thinks it's good because because of course she does. A little piece or a pill. Let me just say this: in the fifties, they discouraged women from breastfeeding. Absolutely, they made it persona non grata. You something was wrong with you if you wanted to breastfeed. That's true. All of those things, and and children were robbed of their natural immunity and intelligence and a whole bunch of other things because they weren't taken care of naturally. Look at well, you happen to be right. Uh, I. Said to my yeah, mom, Sal mom, probably is a perfect yeah, example. You could have used some that. fucking breast milk in that. I, brain. I think she <laughs> fed me Hawaiian punch. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess everybody who <clears throat> was born in the fifties and sixties has mm-hmm. zero intelligence because their parents did not hmm. them mm. at the placenta. Sure, sure, sure. No, no, no. They didn't give them breast milk. Is that what it is? Oh, yes. The most activity we've gotten on this. The most pussy. <laughs> <laughs> in this room right now is there we go yes. there we go okay hey but you know what at least those kids got to smoke lucky strikes so cool. this is <laughs> true exactly and, and so did their mother while she was parents. pregnant oh, my, mother my mother smokes have another marlboro junior exactly <laughs> it'll cure your acne <laughs> another caller calls in new listener um mm-hmm. But how is that possible? Because 18 months. You've been listening 18 months. Here's the conversation. Here we go. Uh, Floyd, you're on the air in New Mexico, and then I'll get right over to J.D. Floyd. A lot of people are waiting to hear who the hottest woman in America is. Sure, sure, sure. With so J.D. Uh, we go ahead, Floyd. We want to know who's nominated. We don't know who that is. It's going to be exciting. J.D. put a ton of work into this. Ton yes, Floyd. Hey, Howard. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm a new listener for the last year and a half. Um, and I have followed you, you know, throughout the, throughout the course of movie and through hearsay. I got a new vehicle, got serious station, and of course renewed it, uh, for your show pretty much. So I love listening to you guys. You guys make my day. I listen to you on the way in, on the way home. And I just, you guys are amazing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. That is a call from Buckwald, New Mexico. Yeah, um, whole career. He's been at Sirius what now? How many years? Uh, tw- almost 20. What, 18? Okay. 18 Congratulations, years. Congratulations, Floyd, on your first new car. <laughs> yeah, Come Floyd on. was finally able to put enough ducats yes, together yes, to get a car. To get a car. Absolutely. That has, that has, that has uh, the, the only 1984 Ford Accord with Sirius XM built. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a Ford hat on today for the Mopar boy. Um, wait, wait, did you say Ford for the Mopar boy? No, I know it's. I know. Okay, she, okay, she okay. understands. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I knew you were kidding. Yes, of course I'm kidding. Silly. Um, all right. So then the JD be- begins, and <clears throat> let's talk about this for a quick second. So they put so much into JD's top forty 
40 well, great. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish. What I'm gonna say 40 hottest girls, 40 girls, 40 girls, 40 girls, 40 girls. JD's gonna do a bracket. It's gonna be 40 girls, 40 girls, 40 girls. They have songs about it, they have promos about it. They're really gearing up for this. They have had multitudes of conversations about it, only to find out. Now, this is some this is this is a, a crew that talk about sports and betting all the friggin' time. And not one of them thought to remember that a bracket is basically 32 teams. It's mm -hmm. eight, 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 eight. No! Or, or 32 or 16. It, it has to be 32, uh, 16, 8, 4. Yeah, it has to always be in that. It has to be the doubling of. He didn't four. realize this until yesterday. Yeah. It has and, to be the doubling of four. And then. And then the next number gets doubled. And the next number gets doubled. 40 he, didn't is know that that number. he didn't know that that's how it worked. And, and, and after this meetings. is two weeks, this yeah. is two weeks and many meetings, many meetings. Many meetings. Many meetings, and nobody can figure out that you need 32 or 48. That's right. Nobody can figure that out. Stupid. 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 So, there are so the 33 writers, ladies and gentlemen. 70. So, 70. 70. Oh, sorry. Step. So, for the JD. And I'm not going to give JD any credit whatsoever because he's an absolute fucking moron, right? So we don't give you him any kind of um, <laughs> no on this show. He deserves absolutely 0, 0.0. So he starts off incredibly stupid, a total mush mouth, really cannot articulate a sentence if his life depended on it. No. And he starts this bit. And he starts going through these girls. And of course he has, I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how many women he had on this list. And Half of them, you'd be like, who? And the other half, you'd be like, I'm sorry, did he just say Oprah? Did he, he just did say, he did say Oprah, yes. Yeah. He said Oprah. So what he decided to do is to break it down into categories. And so he did like sports, he did music, he did actors, and then miscellaneous. He had like porn stars. He had Instagram, porn stars, OnlyFans, yeah. et cetera. And it went on and on and on and on and on. And at some point... Howard said the truest words that have been spoken since the show. Yeah, uh, sports host. She's also uh, she supports the Bengals a lot. So the Bengals. She she moves on. She beats Oprah. By the way, we spent weeks planning this, dozens of meetings. I think everyone on the show, including me, should be fired. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. actually, yeah. Not even funny. Yeah. She supports yes. the Bengals. The Bengals. The Bengals. The, mang <laughs> the Bengals. How are they going to be closed captions on the app when you put this on? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Lindsay. All right, so Sam is Joan Rivers, and actually, she had a couple actual funny lines during. No, get out of here! No, she actually had a couple that actually made me laugh. No, because it's such a low hanging fruit. It's Are you easy. Sure, Sam, that's Sam. He said so. Joan. JD actually said that it was Sam, because he he totally forgot that it was a uh, he was she was playing a character I and didn't say the character name, it, and I didn't hear. Yeah, it's Sam. They must have cut it out in the replay because it was he said Sam. We actually had it in the oh, listening well. thread. Uh, I'm looking. But, I mean, come on. The whole premise, the fact that it's JD. Come on. What's the matter? The Green River Killer wasn't available? <laughs> I guess not. And, and I, I love that it's a purely visual bit done on an audio oh. podcast. Well, let's see if, uh, oh. let's see if it, it appeared on the... Uh, oh, the pictures are people. there. They're alleged at howardstern.com. Allegedly. All right, let's go see. Let's go see. Um, mm, here, this is what we got. <sighs> Sam plans to eat her own placenta. Chris ordered solo eclipse There's classes on Uber Eats. Oh, sorry, I don't have it up there. Isn't it up there? Yeah, I, see I don't it. see. see I it. don't see it. No, I no, see it. I see it, but I don't see the thing with the girls. It's not there. No, I just see, that uh, is why? real. I'll tell you why? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because why? they don't have nice. busy. For, like <laughs> the, like the Getty's images uh, picture or the people picture or whatever. So they can't just nilly willy. So this is the stupidest bit ever. Meaning ever. that you can't show any visuals with it. And it makes no sense without visuals. Yeah. It literally is the um, stupidest thing ever. Let me see if it's it, You know what this was? This was a <laughs> war crime against time. 
<laughs> I mean, this is literally this is not just regular crime. This is a war crime. This was a stumble. You, you Somebody needs stumble? to go to jail for this. This is like this was this, this was like if slaughtering time had a radio station. Yeah, here's here's Sam talking about eating her own. Placenta. They fill the cooler with ice. The placenta is in a plastic bag, and then the woman who oh my makes God. Placenta Sal, for you is, okay? He's getting woozy. I, He's turning I, green. I, I really am. Like this is gross. Can I take a seat up for real? I mean, like this is. Oh so man, getting woozy. You fucking yeah. drama queen. Are you kidding me? So ew, ew, just ew. It's ew. Just ew. But yeah, no. And then it's wilding there. Ew. Uh, top forty thing. Big promo, big, oh my God, can't wait to see it. It's nowhere to be had. Absolutely nowhere to so, be had. So, yeah, so they they, 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 spent, they they did promos on it. Then they spent an, almost an hour on this today. And, and it could have dragged out for four because JD basically had the pace of Continental Drift. I mean, it was, it, there, there was absolutely no pace to this. There was, and literally you had no idea what he was doing. He was jumping around in these numbers that made no sense at all like he'd never seen a sport in his entire life it, it was the most the biggest abortion that's ever been on this show absolutely 100 exactly this was this was the worst thing they've ever played Th this actually makes the homosexual stuff seem fun oh yeah <laughs> and you know let's reiterate he's 1100 miles away from the studio yes. Yes, he's in his home. Yes, in in a gigantic mansion, and they still cut it like they're in the same room, like they they make yeah, people kind of that don't know what's going on. Like, oh, they're clearly in the same well, room. We are now going to play along <clears throat> with JD's top four. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Do we have to? So, and uh, the way it's going to work is that majority wins, and I'm expecting the chat to play along. So the first. Five or six people. All right. that the, the winner should be Sydney Sweeney. All right, we're over. Let's do so. Let's move on. Thank you. Stop. She's not even in the top four. Okay. I understand that, which is a mis which shows you he's an imbecile. Okay. Uh, so here's the way it's going to work. I'm just going to give you the top four, two and two, and then you pick from those two, and then we'll have our our bracket for who gets to be or your the, or the Dario. Either, either her or the Dario Stop should win. Talking. Stop it. <laughs> I hate it. This so fuck. Let me get this clip. Let me get this bit out. Me, God. Get it out. Spit it out. Okay. So in bracket number one, you have Dua Lipa. Okay. This is her. Pretty girl. Yes, yes. Okay. Girl. Dua Lipa. And number two is Alexandria Duh. Daddario. That's not the best picture, but. Not yeah, the best a, picture, but a weird picture, bro. I could pick up on. Um, I I like it. That's her. That's her. Okay, that's what you got. Alexander Daddario against Dua Lipa and Dennis. Oh, Alexander Daddario. Okay, uh, I, I, all day long. Xavier. Uh, who was the first one? I'll I'll be her pay pig. <laughs> <laughs> there was Dua Lipa. Yeah, there. Well, whatever. Yeah. Two lips. Come on, pick one. Is that the I one you want? Do it. The first one. Fine. Okay. Pick, pick, first, pick. first five in our talk is okay. Fatty Arbuckle. Sure, sure, sure. Absolutely. Always. Dewey gets one. Fatty all Dewey day. Two. Dewey gets three. Alexandria gets one. All right. Dua Lipa is our winner. Dua Lipa is our winner for this part. Okay. Are we really doing this? I yeah. We only got two. Okay, okay. Go on as long as JD, for God's sakes. Okay, the other two are in like this other weird bracket because I don't know either of them. Sure, okay. sure, sure. This one girl, her name is Lindsay Pellis. Okay, Ooh. that's a winner. I don't know. Okay, that's Lindsay Pellis. She seems very shy. Yeah. And the other one is a gymnast. <laughs> and I got an STD just looking at that. Olivia. Oh. Actually, oh my, that's the second one. And it's not even close. Oh, that's not even close. You're right. Oh my dear God. Not even close, bro. Okay, so that's your two girls, Olivia Dunn <clears throat> and Lindsay Peeless. So sure, sure. Go with Olivia sure. Dunn. Oh, Olivia Dunn, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see what that. Let me see what the crew says. Dunn gets one. Uh, let's oh, see. Mr. Dangles like that. Like some voluptuous. <laughs> he, like, he likes some uh, little. Um... He likes some plump. <laughs> Yeah, those are those Olivia are 
three to two for Lindsay Palis. One more for Olivia. Why are we doing this? Second. I have no idea. Okay, Good that's it. So it's now, now, now we go for the winner. Who? Oh, is, that, this is uh, this is slam dunk then. Uh, see, because you're a blonde person. Uh, oh, do you have any yeah, more yeah, pictures man, of Dua? Um, okay. I mean, I like Dua Lipa. I mean, I like her. I mean, I, I think I don't know pretty, anything about these pretty, broads. She's pretty good looking, but you know. Yeah, sure, sure. And she sings pretty well. She does. She, oh, she's she a singer. Sing pretty well. I, I, I she's a singer. Song. Sings pretty well. Who? Dua Lipa. One more Dua. Isn't she like Portuguese? Let's go with it. Sure. Okay, that's Albanian, her. which is almost Italian, and hence why you do it. There you go. Yeah, there's actually Albanians in Sicily. La Dolce Vita. And then this chick, <clears throat> who is a gymnast. Oh, she's gymnast. a gymnast. Oh my god. Ah, uh, she would kick my ass though. Uh, you never dated a gymnast? Uh, actually, I did. Yeah, so, she kicked. Yeah. She kicked my ass. <laughs> All right, who gets your votes? Uh, uh, the second one, the blonde one, whatever. The blonde. The whatever. blonde one. Okay. Blonde. So, Olivia and Dua. So two for Olivia, three for Olivia, one for Dua. I'm going to go with Dua too because. Sure, why not? Uh, Both at once. That's the right answer. <laughs> third one. <laughs> Both at once, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys are really tied up here, Blondie and Dua. So this is this is how it goes. So, yeah, uh, how's the slot? Thank you for <laughs> asking that question. In the chat. How's that? The there, that's the deciding factor. Well, in the world of um, of uh, JD, Dua Lupa one, Dua Lipa. So uh, I can see I can't go with anything JD would go. Yeah, ex exactly. Just, on principle. <laughs> So um, we, we all know that's yeah, I mean, it, honestly, it anyway. could have been if uh, JD picked it was between that and like a Belgian Shepherd. I'd have to go to <laughs> Belgian Shepherd if, if uh, JD went the other way. Oh my God! Okay, so just two more clips of the night. Uh, this caller called in and dropped the hard N word, which I thought was yeah. This uh -oh. was this was. Um... I do wonder if they left it in the uh, probably not in the second. Uh, listening of the show. I don't know because you know Howard actually secretly loves that word. He mm -hmm. does he likes being it being dropped. I guess the Dua Lipa must have spread peanut butter on her Dua lips for Cam on him for him. Hey -oh. oh hey oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. This guy called in, but I guess because uh, uh, JD kept saying that you know she's a very attractive African American woman. She's a very attractive, and so this guy I guess might be black and was really a little upset about it. Yeah, I got a problem. First of all, it's a horrible segment, JD. You are awful. <laughs> Getting to the point, we're not African <laughs> Americans. We are black people. The white man <laughs> then trying to <laughs> trick us. Niggers, blacks, negroes. <laughs> we are black this people. That's it. Oh, God. It's oh, Mark God. from Nevada. <laughs> I blotted it out, but they they let it on. And of uh, course he did. He loves that being dropped on his show. He yeah. does. That's why. Yeah. That's why King Royal Black still allowed to call in. This is true. This is true. And he loves that. Um, okay. And then our last clip is going to be the end of the show. I don't know. It's just you know he's he's doing his heart thing because we're gearing up for that tomorrow. Oh God, it was so um, bad. I think this is going to wind up being one of those, honestly, two hour, two hour, 15. Kind well, of absolutely. And he's going to ask them if they, if they're the love of each other's life. Yeah. So I, yeah. I almost predict that tomorrow might be the blit versus uh, Ronnie segment. Yes. Oh, first thing is, uh, I haven't seen him in a while. Is Nancy still pushing maximum density? Yes. Oh, is she? Let's see. Uh, I, 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 don't I don't think I, I really have not go back on that in decades. Let's take a look. See. Let's take a look. See, okay, heart band because you know what came up, obviously. Oh, oh. Uh, all right. Oh, it also be a victory lap for the stuff today, including Absolutely. including JD's uh, a segment. There'll be a victory lap and guitar. Uh, yeah, everybody will be grossed out by the placenta, though. The placenta. Well, Oof, wait, 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 wait. She's having Wolfie Van Halen on. I think so. I, it looks like Wolfie Van Halen. Wow. Yeah, I think so. Oof. 
They're, you know what though? They're up there though. I mean, how old are these broads? Like seventy uh, something? They were At popular least. in the seventies. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeesh. Uh, let me see what year this is from, just in case. So maybe that's like almost okay. fifty years ago. So they're, and this they're is ten. Uh, this is twenty ten. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is not. Oh, that's not a, current. That what does it look like currently? Ago. That's not current. That's definitely not current. But just type in 2024. See if that anything pops up. It's 2019. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's what I'll do. Heart so fan. Is that was that Wolfie Van Halen? It was. You know they won't play Panama. Don't ask them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna say no. There they are. Oh, okay. Well, look. Uh, you you know, know, not bad. I mean, brushing does. Uh... Oh, they use the same filter. Ooh. Beth does. Oh, don't Ooh. zoom in on that face, bro. You know, it looks like a, it looks a like one bit. of those hieroglyphics. Mighty fine guitar player, though, right? Yeah. Oh, well, dude, they can make fun time. music, uh, but they had a rift. Da da da. Lots of. I'm sure all of this will come up tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah, the, I know oh, one thing that will not come up. Dad? One what? thing that will not come up tomorrow is that they were the background singers on. Uh, uh, I think I think the song was "Brother" for Alice in Chains. They actually were on the album, really? and okay. I guarantee it won't be. And also, they're tied to Absolutely Alice in Chains because when they were coming back in 2010, they actually had the band come uh, on tour with them. Um, I guarantee that won't come out because oh. you know, even though he's such a huge grunge guy, you know, he, he'll he'll he won't, yes, he, of he, course, he, he'll, he'll ask all about that. Just like he's a minimalist. Yes, minimalist. Yes, in the 18,000 square foot house. There you go. Yes, okay. Yes. So that's coming up tomorrow. Here's our last. Wow, she's got some work done, bro. I hate this song. Anyway, by the way. Uh, worst song uh, ever. Worst song. Uh, music, talk about what's happening. Talk about life, love, uh, and most importantly, sisters' music. love. Sisters and also, love. Like world when channel. Ozzy turned pussy. That, that whole genre. Later this month, the whole band live from their warehouse in Seattle. Tune in live on Monday, April twenty second for Pearl Jam. We'll love those guys too. Yeah, right. you know nothing. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. We want to hear what you have to say about. No, you don't. You don't want to know what we have to say. Literally, that was like one of their worst songs ever. Brother, yep, I was right. Just horrible. All right, that uh, that's going to be our wrap up for tonight, everybody. Yeah, that was today's show was tough. <clears throat> Tomorrow's gonna be tougher. It really was tough. Um, Dennis, are you promoting anything on DJ's Classic Garage? Yes, I am. Um, my video is almost ready to be out there. I had some delays, of course, oh, in production. Yes. It, it's 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 literally sitting on the YouTube server yes, waiting. Yes, yes, yes. yes waiting. Waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so that should be up probably tomorrow morning. I'm not going to try to work on it tonight. Uh, and then I'll, um, I'm going to a car show this weekend. There'll be videos yeah, yeah. for that. Uh, going up nice long drive up to Inverness, Florida, and uh, we'll show up the uh, countryside. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're almost up to 500 uh subscribers when we do that. Yeah, we'll do yeah. an AMA in my garage, yay! And uh, it shall be uh, fun. I uh, some hijinks will, of course, ensue. Hijinks, hey, Mo. hijinks. I, I will be doing a thread this weekend on how to do placenta with pico de gallo. So, you guys can, uh, <laughs> Tune in for that out. Radiogug.com backslash. <laughs> All right. So now you just got to hold on one minute because we have a little surprise. So, um, David, you just hang on to your hats right there. <clears throat> and um, we're going to give you a little surprise. And, um, and yeah, like that. So hang on. Just stay with us for a second. Uh, uh, hey, Xavier. Today is your birthday. Enjoy the day and make the most of it. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday. Today is the day. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday. Today is the day. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday. Today. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at you guys culturally appropriating. Exactly. 
Uh, I, I kind of oh, want a puzzle. I have a real one. Oh, no, look how stupid this one is. <laughs> is that the one you had for Ryder? <laughs> so I, can, I can go to sleep. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, thank you, everybody. That's very nice of you. Well, happy birthday, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank Happiest you. birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday. Yay. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, there's that. We we planned. There's it. that. <laughs> Both of us ran together. I was like, oh, I have a sombrero too. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, puzzle not being part of this was a little bit of a let. Uh, she, you know, she refused. Uh, Remember, she she's refused. A she's got some teeth. She's a buckwall. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You guys are too nice. Well, happiest birthday. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for being here with us tonight, and we'll see you next time. So. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.